What is up you guys, it's Volek Taylor here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. So, last night we had the return of the LeBron James bundle. It's a really, really cool bundle. I went through everything in its own Is It or Is It Not Worth It bundle video. That'll be in the playlist on my channel, Is It Worth It? So, moving us away from LeBron James, we had the return of the Tales of the Animus bundle, which is a really, really cool bundle as well, which I have covered before. We had the Heat Squad bundle, which has returned several times and I do like it and I do think that it's a really good bundle to get. And then obviously we had the featured store, which was three times this time because we had the return of the superhero costumes. But yeah, the daily store was, eh, it was give or take. But anyway, what we're going to get tonight in three, two, one, let's go! Oh, press the wrong button. There you go. Anyway, as you guys can see, we had the return of the Uncharted bundle. This seems to come back like every other, every other week or so. But again, for those of you that don't know, we have the film version and the game styles. So if you guys watched the latest film last year with Tom Holland, I almost forgot his name then. <laughs> Tom Holland, then you guys can have the film version. But if you like the good old Nathan Drake, then you guys can have the game version. But yeah, we have some really, really cool items in this bundle, especially the Sully's Seaplane Glider, which is a really, really cool one to grab. I won't be going in depth on this because I have covered it before. So check that out on my playlist on my channel as well. Moving us on to the return of the Joneses bundle. Now, I did hear about them doing this. It's not new, but it's like, you know, they always try and cram, like, the male and female skins into a bundle. So this time, they've done a complete Jones bundle. So for those of you that have been searching for all the Joneses, just to give you a bit of a chance to get them. So it says there is only three items in this bundle <clears throat> because I think I do own... Yeah, I do own two of them. So essentially, there would be one, two, three, four, five, five. So, yeah, anyway... Jumping in, you have the Jonesy the First. Never forget your first run. Part of the origin set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4. So this isn't, this isn't the original, original Jonesy. This is like the one that they reissued in cha Chapter 4. We have Jonesy the Secondist. You never forget your second run either. So again, this is part of the re... re well, <laughs> it's part of the Recruit Redux set, first introduced in Chapter 3, Season 2. So again, for those of you that have the original Flash of Jonesy in Chapter 1, some of you are quite lucky. Moving us on to the Cozy Jonesy, which we had recently for Christmas. Toasty, Cozy and Out for Coco. Part of the Coco Commando set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 5. We then move on to the Relaxed Fit Jonesy, or as I like to call it, literally oh what's his name big lebowski jonesy he literally looks like the big lebowski <laughs> like you can't get any more accurate than the big lebowski than to relax with jonesy victory or whatever else you've got he's not picky now anyway moving us away from this we do have a back bling for this skin and that is the beef pack packed with beefy goodness part of the relaxed fit set first introduced in chapter two season three now there is two styles for this back bling it's a very subtle change but you have the default and then you have the alternate, which is the pre-chewed pack. Again, somebody took a bite out of his left side. Moving us on to a last item, we have the Castaway Jonesy. He's not lost, okay? He just knows how to take 100 players out with a flare gun. But anyway, moving us away from this bundle, I will be covering this in its own Is It or Is It Not Worth It bundle video, because again, for those of you that are searching for all the Joneses, we've got to cover them all. Moving us on to the featured store now, we have the return of the Sleuth. The detect sorry, this detective is on the case. Part of the hard-boiled set, first introduced in the OG season four. Very, very cool looking skin. I mean, again, you can't get any closer to the detective than this. Moving us on to the evidence back bling, forensic fashion. Again, you've got your camera, case file, newspaper, you know. Moving us on to the return of the gumshoe skin. This kid's got gumption. Part of the hardboiled hard set as well, looking very, very cool. Moving on to her back bling, we have the confidential case. Build a case. Again, camera, classified case file, newspaper. Moving us on to the last item in this, well, last skin in this little set, we have the Noir. Infiltrating the seedy underbelly of Tilted Towers. Again, very, very cool looking skin. Moving us on to the bat bling, this one's different. We have the clue finder. Find the clues. Oh, sorry, follow the clues. Again, we've got a nice little notepad there, which does seem to indicate that somebody did know about the meteor coming down, which is very, very cool. Moving us on from this, we have the magnifying axe as a harvesting tool. Dust them for prints. 
which is very cool. Moving us on to the Viceroy Mark I as a glider. Ain't she a beaut? I don't know how anyone's going to get inside that car because there's no doors, but, you know, we'll, we'll do it what we can. Anyway, moving us on to the second half of the featured store, we have the return of the Fastball skin. Another victory is on deck. Part of the three strike set, first introduced in OG Season 8, looking very, very cool. We then move on to her bat bling, which is the double play, two for one. Again, really, really cool. Got an extra helmet in there, baseball bat. Again, can't play baseball without a baseball bat. Now, moving us on to the return of the alternate version of Jonesy as well. We have the slugger. Batter up, part of the three strikes set, first introduced in OG Season 8, looking very, very cool. It's not often we see Jones with brown hair. Very cool. Moving us on to the return of the strike zone bat bling. Strike them out. Again, nice little baseball bat there, and we have an extra helmet. Moving us on to the Grand Slam Harvester tool. If you ever wanted to hit somebody with a baseball bat and a trophy combined, you can use this. So we have the Grand Slam Harvester tool. Swing for the fences. Anyway, moving us on to the glider, we have the home run, which is. I always love that, that it plays the like, da -da 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 -da, and you can hear somebody going with like an aluminium bat. Anyway, it's out of here. Again, very reminiscent of like, obviously like a base form. Love the fact that we've got like some bats on the wings as well. Moving us on to the return of the orange skin. On the hunt for his long lost twin. Part of the Y Labs rescue set, first introduced in chapter two, season five. The one thing I've noticed recently, I think Fortnite has they've changed some of the cell shading on some of these animated skins because i've got rick currently equipped and i remember the last time i looked at him like i don't know maybe a week ago he didn't look like that not that it's a bad change but i like the fact that they've changed like some of the animation on some of the skins but anyway moving us on to his bat bling we have the mecha fusion jump kit even a little mecha fusion goes a long way again really really cool we do have two harvesting tools in there which we can't get hopefully we can one day but you know moving us on to his actual harvesting tool we have the null pick careful this one's still under development again nice little cell shaded bat ring we then move on to the return of the third half of the item shot of the, of the featured store we have the return of the bright bundle now i have already covered this in its own bundle video as well but that still doesn't mean we can't go over it a little bit so anyway, we have the OG Bright Bomber skin. We have the OG Bright Gunner skin. We have the Reactive Rainbow Smash Harvesting tool, which the Unicorn Horn will have like a particle effect on it the more you do use it. It has one on it now, but it's more of the whole harvesting tool. But anyway, beat the stuffing out of them. Part of the Sunshine and Rainbow set, first introduced in OG Season 3. Moving us on to the Bright Blink Glider. And then to finish us off in the item shop, we had the return of the daily store. So in the daily store, we had the return of the Pathfinder skin. Uncommon Pathfinder outfit. First introduced in OG season one. Again, very basic, but again, sometimes we like basic. Moving us on to the return of the Rucker skin, which again, every time I see this skin, he looks like he should be in Borderlands for some reason. Especially if you see what the cycles look like in that game. Anyway, we have the Ruckus. Bring the Bedlam. Part of the Wastelanders Warriors set, first introduced in OG Season 6. So if we go through the styles, we have the default here. And then we have the alternate, which is the Rage version. I don't know why, but this is making me think of Apex. I don't know what it is, like, this skin, it's just got something about it. It's making me think of Apex. But anyway, moving us away from this, we have the return of the Back Bling, which is the Spike Chamber. Rusty and Trusty. Again, really, really cool. Very, very badass as well. Moving us away from this, we have the return of the Agile Edge Harvesting Tool. Per sorry, ooh. Force and Finesse. Part of the Intrepid Eight, yeah. Part of the Intrepid and Agent set. First introduced in Chapter 2, Season 2. You already know that was my favourite season. Anyway, moving us away from this, we have the return of the Traversal Full Tilt Emote. Lean into it. First introduced in OG Season set, OG Season X, or as I like to call it, the Naruto run. Moving us on to the return of the last two items now. We have the return of the Lavish emote. 
join the celebration. First introduced to the OG Season 8. Jeez! <laughs> Moving us on to the last item, we have the Space Groove Lobby Music. Press play and space out. Takes a while to get into it. But anyway, moving us on to the bottom half of the item shop now. You guys know we still have some bundles, it being the weekend. Again, we still have the Dragon Ball collaboration. We have Sun Gohan. We have Piccolo. We have various different items that you can buy singly if you guys don't want to buy the big bundles. We then still have the OG Dragon Ball uh, bundles. We've got Goku and Beerus. We've got Vegeta and Bulma. We've got the Dragon Ball Power Bundle, the Dragon Ball Gear Bundle. Again, these items you can buy singly if you want. We still have the boy Kid Leroy, which has been in the item shop with us for about a week plus now. But I don't know how long he's staying because I know his concert's running in the game up until the 27th of April, which is a long time. So if this is here all this time, take your time, buy it when you want. Like you can get paid several times since then. Anyway, moving us on to his emotes and we have his loading screen and lobby music. We then move on to the items that we had to return last night, which is the Tales from the Animus bundle. We have the King James bundle. And again, taking us into the pretty much the NFL or Super Bowl skins. Because if you guys don't know, tomorrow is the big Super Bowl game. If I believe it's the 57th Super Bowl, which is kind of nuts when you think about it. But anyway, again, let me know in the comments down below on this video who, what your team is. You're allowed to pick two. I was going to say one, but I allow you to pick two, especially because I like the Raiders and the Patriots. But anyway, moving us away from these bundles, again, I went through these last night. You can represent your teams. Obviously, you can't have any games without referees, so why not grab a referee? Especially because Jones, who comes as a referee, if you guys didn't know. Cheaters need not apply. Again, moving us on to the bottom half now, you can have bundles for the referees. You can also have a referee's... Um, bundle as well which is very very cool and then last but not least on the bottom of the item shop we have the love is in the air now again hopefully everyone's enjoying and hopefully everyone's looking forward to valentine's day again one of the big days out of the year you might be the big gestures but you should be doing them all the time anyway moving us on to the customize your heroes again which we had returned last night but yeah guys pretty much that is the item shop for saturday night again we haven't had anything new i mean i think we had a new wrap was it Friday night or Thursday night? But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below what was your favourite item from tonight's item shop and which is your favourite version of Jonesy that we've had in the game so far. Now, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join Team Let's Catch a Vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notified as soon as I upload. But more importantly, don't forget to stay vibey and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.